Who would you actually vote for in the Eagles' sphere to be president of the United States? Ooh, there's some good ones. I'll, I'll let you go first. Now, it's funny because Travis does joke to Jason that like he's going to run for president one day. Feels like a big job, but I, I, there, there, there are worse options, I would say. Uh, you know the guy who came to mind for me, and I don't know. I, I, I you know, this is the uh, the truism, of course, that like anybody who is interested in being president should not be president. But uh, uh, Malcolm Jenkins is the guy who came to totally. mind for me. Uh, I, you know, he has leadership experience. I think he cares about the right things. Uh, he has um, like uh, many different life experiences that I think would, would come in handy for thinking of the bigger picture. So that's one guy who came to mind for me. Th those two were at the top of my list. Malcolm Jenkins, by the way, uh, th the thing that I always enjoyed about him was that, first off, he would answer every question from the press. So, you know, like he'd be standing at his locker after a game for like 35 minutes and just get millions of questions, whether it's about the game. Yeah, that was what was always so impressive was like the the ping pong version of it, it was like, okay, like, uh, what are you doing about social justice? Why did you miss that tackle? Like, uh, yeah. <laughs> like uh, who's your favorite Robert? Like, uh, just like bouncing back and forth, so like, and just no, no, like switch or like he was able to flip the switch so quickly from. And I would stand on those scrums and I would just enjoy what you were saying, that ping pong. And, and the thing I, I would like is that on one hand, he would give like a great answer about you know uh, his charities or his activism or, or any of those off-field things, which again I, I agree with you. He did care about the uh, the right things, but then he would get a football question, and Malcolm Jenkins, sneaky concussion uncle. Mm, yeah, that's true. <laughs> that's like, true. Like he would be like, yeah, that that. Uh, late hit call that I got was complete BS. He's yeah. like, the fact that I'm paying a fine when the quarterback is and letting... He, yeah, you know, he's also like run the ball a little yeah. bit. And uh, like, the, like the importance of physicality. Yeah, I think you're right. Sneaky concussion uncle is probably good. Well, he did not like <laughs> when defensive backs got flagged mm -hmm. for hard hits, which in his opinion was the quarterback's fault because they led the receiver That's right the in. Tom Brady uh, opinion as well. Yeah. Which easy for him to say now that he's not playing anymore. exactly. Yeah, but but Malcolm would he just he was versatile in that way, right? Where he'd give a he'd give a great answer about the off field stuff and just be like, "Look, if you throw the ball over the middle, I'm going to knock you out." And that's yeah. that's the way football should be played. So I was a big fan of Malcolm Jenkins. Uh, Jason Kelsey was another one. Okay. Now I know he he didn't win a war or anything, but he's got some Ulysses S. Grant. Mm. Um, men of Ohio. Yep. Like to drink beers. Like that, yeah. That's really all I got besides those, those <laughs> Beards. Two. Yeah, beards as well, okay. too. Just saying, you know. Um, here's another guy. Ron Jaworski. Interesting. A successful small Jaws. business owner. Okay. <laughs> okay. <laughs> For, former, I don't know enough about Jaws' politics. I'm afraid to go down that road. Oh, yeah. yeah. I'm, not <laughs> even, I'm not even opening that up. Okay. But I will say... Have you ever played at any of his uh, his golf courses before? I have, yeah. Yeah. Well, one time, <laughs> this scene is sticking out in my head. I think it was... Uh, I think you and I have played together. Oh, we have. Have yes. we played at... Uh, uh, what is it? Running Deer? Is that what it's called? Riverwinds? Yeah. Riverwinds. Yeah, we, yeah, we did play at that one. That's right. That's the that's the nicest one of, of the bunch. I went to, I believe it was Ramblewood. We used to play Ramblewood all the time, actually, before it was a Jaworski course uh they would give like a nice discount to eagles employees so that's was like my my 20s the only golf i played was 15 dollar rounds at ramblewood oh it's great so one day my friends and i played around at ramblewood it was like a, a saturday in the fall and as we were leaving in the parking lot it was an early morning round i know you like a good early morning round so it's like 10 30 11 love it we're leaving and who shows up in the parking lot but jaws mm. himself and jaws is just getting <laughs> questions just fired uh, at him about the Eagles. And he is like, this was like Malcolm Jenkins, but golf. And mm. uh, it was mainly Eagle stuff. But my friends and I did ask him a golf question like, Jaws, what's your favorite course? Right. And he had a great answer for us. Which was? He, he said he liked running deer because uh, he said that he had the greens rolling at a 12, which <laughs> I didn't know what that meant, really. On the I stamp. Th I think that means it's hard, but... Uh, it's the speed, yeah. Yeah, well... Anyway, I was impressed by Jaws got, got <laughs> dealing with all these. He's rolling on a, tw at a 12. That's good. Um, I saw somebody mention D'Amico Ryans in the chat. That's a great one. I think one. that would have been a good one. That would probably have been Zach's uh, favorite. Nothing to do with how attractive he is, just because he's a good leader. 
Okay. But he is very attractive. What do we think about Hertz? Now, I thought about this because I think Hertz is like the one who has the most obvious like uh, patina of like a, a guarded politician where like yes. he has a very calculated image and will go out of his way to not answer a question directly. So I believe that he is the most politician-like player on the team just in terms of his charisma and demeanor. Um, it would depend who he's running against. <laughs> I just don't know how he's getting the votes. I don't know where the charisma is, mm. where, where he's standing out in a kind of a debate format. But I agree. Once he got in office, like I could see it. Mm. I could yeah, see it. I think that's good. A uh, couple other names from okay. the cast. Troy Vincent, somebody. Well, who, yeah, there's a good one because there's a guy who, you know that he can play the political power game. Totally. He, yeah. knows, he knows bureaucracy. He knows how to get around the red tape. Yeah, that's a good one. That's a good one. I would vote for him over Runyon. Yeah. Who has also done that done that as well. That's a good one. Um, who else we got? For some reason I wrote down Eric Allen. <laughs> okay. I like that. Yeah. yeah, he's got a good great player. He was always good on TV. Yeah. He's a pretty handsome guy. Okay. That's a good one. Um, but the big one, the last one I Ooh, have. Ooh, the big one. Okay. Actually, the big one. Real outsider candidate. You know, you talk about somebody who doesn't want office, doesn't want the spotlight. How about Dom DeSandro? Ooh. Make stuff happen. No doubt about that. Would have uh, some levers to pull in terms of getting the vote out, I imagine. <laughs> um, yeah, I mean, the, I, I would certainly not, not vote. I would, I would certainly not, like never say that I would not vote for Dom. So, yeah, I'm in. <laughs> Who else we got? We got Nam okay. Namdi. Namdi? I, you know, I would vote for Namdi. Uh, I've always liked Anamdi relative to uh, some of the other uh, opinions of, uh, of him. Did a great job on uh, Bird on a Wire, of course, one of the great uh, short-lived web uh, structures that has ever existed in team content in which uh, he and I compared players on the roster to characters from The Wire. Um, how do you feel about like a Jeffrey Lurie? Sure. I, I think so. Do you think he has ever thought about it? I don't think so. I no, think, I don't I think he's that. comfortable. Yeah, he's got a nice, he's got a good thing going. You, who needs that stress? He's certainly somebody who knows a lot of politicians, though. That's true. Yeah, I think that's any. Probably most owners are, are like that. But he, yeah, he likes to be. He likes to be plugged in there. <laughs> 